Reverend Insanity Chapter 1706 Southern Immortals Aspirations Oh no, Wu Yang is leading a band of southern border Gu immortals, they suddenly appeared near infallible blessed land. In heavenly court, Fairy Zai Wai's expression suddenly turned to shock. Oh, they finally showed up. Duke Long said plainly, he still sat in his seat without any change of expression. Fairy Zai Wai breathed in deeply, she frowned deeply, feeling a different kind of pressure. Because southern borders Gu immortals were very united in this expedition, they were different from those Gu immortals from the other four regions that caused chaos. And most importantly, they targeted an important place. It was infallible blessed land. If infallible blessed land fell, it would be a disaster to heavenly court. The huge price they paid to forcibly hold the Refinement Path Convention would be wasted as southern borders immortals intercept and steal their gains. Don't be flustered. We already expected infallible blessed land's location to be leaked. For this reason, we have already set up a super immortal formation nearby. Right now, the initiative is in our hands. Everything will progress smoothly. Duke Long instructed. Fairy Zai Wai nodded respectfully. She used her method as the scene of infallible blessed land showed up in the hall. Next, she hesitated before transmitting to Wu Yang. Wu Yang, don't forget that we had cooperated last time. If you want to continue being the Southern Border Alliance leader, you should know what to do. Wu Yang received news and snickered. He felt a sense of disdain in his heart. The great Zai Wai even as a wisdom path great expert, is nothing much in the end. He did not even bother to reply to Fairy Zai Wai. His entire concentration was placed on his killer move. Immortal killer move unlimited wind. A dark green wind started to blow, sweeping everywhere. Soon, the wind grew to become a huge tornado pillar. It charged forward with a thunderous roar. Along the way, trees were uprooted. Rocks were sent flying. It was truly unstoppable with unparalleled might. Seeing that the wind was approaching with great power, the heavenly court Gu immortals defending the area side as they activated the super immortal formation. Creek Creek. The halo created by the immortal formation was constantly eroded by the unlimited wind. It soon made creaking sounds. It was sharp and piercing. The central continent Gu immortals used the methods inside the immortal formation. But any move that tried to weaken unlimited wind showed little effect. It is useless. I have never used this move easily before because it would expend 10,000 of my wind path Dao marks. But after paying this price, this wind is long-lasting and can only be resisted by specific techniques. Wu Yang spoke. His expression was plain, but his eyes flickered with a sharp and cold light. Such determination, such will, seeing this, Fairy Zai Wai who was inside Heavenly Court sighed from the bottom of her heart. Wu Yang paid such a huge price to use unlimited wind. It showed his unwavering determination. Nothing could change his mind. Wu Yang had an ordinary appearance of a middle-aged man. He had a strong body and sharp eyebrows, giving him a dark and hazy aura. Right now, he was standing in front of the immortals. He stood tall and proud being a leader that had great disposition. Fairy Zai Wai memorized his appearance in her heart. She realized that she had underestimated him. Southern Borders Wu Yang, a truly formidable person. He had Wu Clan's bravery and courage, but he was also able to control his own emotions and conceal them deeply. When Wu Du Ziu was around, he kept a low profile and reputation. Even Wu Du Ziu underestimated him. Only on her deathbed did she realize that her son had such methods. When he first took her position, Southern Border was in chaos. Other clans pressured Wu Clan and they lost a lot of territory. Using his strength and clear jade dripping wind tiny bamboo building, Wu Yang turned the situation around. After the Battle of the Dream Realm, Wu Yang took a risk and worked with Heavenly Court. He took back the immortal goo of the Southern Border Immortals. He returned all these immortal Gu, and that action gave him great reputation. In the five regional mountain range, he wanted to kill Fang Yuan but failed time and again. 
After that, even though Liu Wai Yin had the title of Paradise Earth's inheritor, he could not take down Wu Yang. He still remained as the alliance leader of the Southern Alliance. Right now, Heavenly Court was at a crucial moment in restoring Fate Gu. Wu Yang led all the Southern Alliance elites in this battle. He disregarded Fairy Zai Wai's threat. Because he knew what the big picture was. They could not allow Heavenly Court to obtain the complete fate Immortal Gu once more. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Unlimited wind continued to attack, eroding the formation. The defending Heavenly Court Gu Immortals tried all ways to stop it, but they failed. This move was too powerful. It was Wu Yong's trump card. This was the first time he had used it. Not just Heavenly Court. Even when Southern Borders Gu Immortals saw it, they were shocked and under their joyful expressions were wariness and fear. Soon, a hole opened in the formation as Wu Yang waved. Everyone, now is the time to risk your lives. Charge in with me and kill. Southern Borders Immortals entered as the defending Heavenly Court Gu Immortals became nervous. They're in. Quick, activate the second layer formation. Southern Borders Immortals felt that the scenery changed. Jade blue light appeared and turned into countless flying pink flowers. They flew rapidly and rotated all over the place, enveloping the Southern Border Immortals. A rank 7 Gu Immortal stood up. He had a halberd-like beard. He was heroic and brave. His name was Tai Gan Ji, a pillar of support for Tai Clan. He had peak rank 7 battle strength. Against such a strong force, he felt no fear. He shouted loudly as golden light flickered on his body. A dense number of golden halberds formed. Go! Countless halberds rained down furiously and crashed into the torrent of flying flowers. As they collided, the flying flowers and golden halberd both disintegrated into powder and fragments. The formation's attack was rank 8 level. But Tai Ganji actually held up against it. He did not fall into a disadvantage. Formation Path Great Expert Rank 8 Gu Immortal Kai Kiyu was standing beside him, trying to deduce the weakness of this formation. In this attack, Kai Kiyu was bound to be the most useful person. A few breaths of time later, the golden halberds were slowly suppressed by the endless flowers. Rank 7 Gu Immortal Shang Quest stood out. He stretched out his palm as a bloody hole opened up. The strong suction force absorbed many flowers. Yi Hai Ting growled. Blue lightning sparks appeared on his body as he helped Tai Gan Ji with the situation. Meanwhile, Rank 7 Wisdom Path Gu Immortal Zia Liu Pei stood behind Kai Q, placing his palm on Kai Q's back, using Wisdom Path methods to help accelerate his deduction speed. After a while, Kai Q acted. Professionals were specialized in different fields. Using his methods, the formation became slow. The weaknesses that were exposed were evident even to Gu Immortals not in formation path. Boom, boom, boom. Southern Borders Gu Immortals did not intend to hold back. They immediately attacked with many powerful killer moves, destroying the second formation. Southern Borders Immortals progressed into the third formation. Heavenly Court's Gu Immortals were deeply shocked. With friend Kai here, what formation can stop us? Wu Yang laughed loudly. The remaining immortals had high morales. Kai Q smiled bitterly. My deduction method cannot be used easily, it expends my lifespan. But in this battle, I cannot hold back. Southern Borders immortals shook. Wu Yang could not help but look at Kai Q. Both could see each other's determination. But soon, Kai Q started frowning. I do not need to deduce this third formation. It is very simple and easy. The formation core is that largest tree at the center of the forest. The formation was easily understood. Heavenly Court purposely did this. It was very difficult to destroy. Because this forest was very special, it could eliminate the power of any killer move. Each tree was made of holy burial wood. The most central formation core was immemorial desolate plant level. If Southern Borders Immortals wanted to destroy these trees, they would need to use their physical bodies. However, there were countless vines on these trees, they were not simple. 
Some were green dragon vines, some were lightning vines, and some were chainsaw heart vines. The third formation was made using the Dao marks of this forest. To destroy this formation, attacking other areas was useless. They had to destroy this holy burial forest. Southern Borders Immortals thought about it. They released the ancient desolate beasts and immemorial desolate beasts in their immortal apertures. The beast groups charged into the forest and attacked the vines. Blood splattered all over. A while later, half of the beasts were sacrificed. The remaining were dazed in the forest, while the last portion fought among themselves. Southern Borders Immortals had grim expressions. So this place also has seven-star internal conflict grass. It makes these ancient desolate beasts fight each other. Even though immemorial desolate beasts are unaffected, they are obstructed by this beast digesting rotten kai. This beast digesting rotten kai had dense poison path dao marks. It did not affect desolate plants, variant humans, or pure humans. It only affected wild beasts. It could make immemorial desolate beasts turn thin, their skin and internal organs would dissolve. Southern Borders Immortals failed in their attempts. Wu Yang was about to take out his clear jade dripping wind tiny bamboo building when someone stood up. Let me try. The Immortals looked over. This Gu Immortal had a bald head. He had muscular shoulders and body. It was Ba Clan's rank 7 Gu Immortal Boxing. Even though I am not a strength path Gu Immortal, I cultivate transformation path. Let me charge in and destroy the holy burial wood. However, I only have peak rank 7 battle strength. I would like Lord Yi Hao Feng to support me. Ba Xing said expressionlessly. The immortals were slightly moved. Ba Xing only had peak rank 7 battle strength. He was not a rank 8 Gu immortal. Yet he was willing to take a risk that would kill him with any slight carelessness. Yi Hao Fang looked towards Ba Clan's first supreme elder Ba Shi Ba. Seeing that the latter nodded, he used his method on Ba Xing. His reinforcement method was not just famous in southern border, it was renowned in the world. Ba Xing immediately felt an unparalleled strength flowing in his body. He flew out and used his killer move, turning into a giant as he charged rapidly towards the center. The heavenly court Gu immortals were naturally not going to ignore him, they started to attack him. Southern borders Gu immortals quickly helped to assist Ba Xing's advancement. Eventually, Ba Xing was bathed in blood, his skin was torn and countless wounds could be seen as his bones became exposed. He had exerted himself in destroying the central holy burial wood at long last. In just a few minutes, Southern Borders Gu Immortals had broken three formations. Next, it will depend on the rest of you. Boxing was heavily injured. He had lost his strength to continue in this fight. Friend, you were courageous and fought a dangerous battle. No matter how this battle ends up, you will gain huge merits in our Southern Alliance. We will definitely reward you handsomely when we return, Wu Yang said with certainty. Ba Xing smiled lightly. I risked my life because I was moved by Lords Wu Yang and Kai Qiu. Heavenly Court had already gone overboard many times when they invaded our southern border. If they truly repaired Fate Gu, what would we do? That is exactly right. Wu Yang nodded. He looked at the immortals around him. His confidence surged to ten times that of earlier. Central Continent had people's united hearts while southern borders immortals were unified in their objective. With such a grand force, what fortress could they not take down? Chapter 1707, Heavenly Courts Crisis Central Continent, Hidden Dragon Cave, Grand Formation Myriad dragons flew around, encircling eastern seas rank 8 Gu Immortal Song Kai Yuan like a huge ball made of dragons. These ancient poison dragons are clearly made from the formation's power, yet they are so agile and act as if they are real. Song Kai Yuan defended himself as he pondered. He wanted to kill these ancient poison dragons. There was no issue with that. But even if he got rid of them, there were other obstacles awaiting him. The tens of thousands of ancient poison dragons were formed using the formation's power. Song Kai Yuan had to destroy this formation to target their root source. 
otherwise, even if he killed the ancient poison dragons, he would not be able to break out of the formation. It is a pity my formation path attainment is too low. Even until now, I have not found any flaws. Song Kai Yuan gritted his teeth. Immortal killer move perfect round light. He used his defensive method as his body became shielded by a ball-shaped yellow barrier. Regardless of how ferocious the ancient poison dragons were, they could not break this thin light barrier. From this, one could see how deep Song Kai Yuan's light path foundation was. Unfortunately, his opponent was this super formation. He needed formation path understanding instead. There were many Gu master paths, like earlier when Fang Yuan was countered by Heavenly Court's human path and information path methods. Song Kai Yuan was also countered by formation path. Even though rank 8 Gu immortals could usually mimic other paths, and Song Kai Yuan could use light path to mimic the effects of formation path, he was facing against a super immortal formation that Heavenly Court had paid a huge price to create. It was the grand formation that could seal legendary immemorial desolate beast Di Zhang Sheng. Song Kai Yuan, who could not find any flaws, could only defend himself while waiting for a chance to appear. Inside the formation's control area, Old Man Bei Feng manipulated the super immortal formation as he observed the situation of the Eastern Sea Gu Immortals. A young looking rank 6 Gu Immortal was beside him. It was Old Man Bei Feng's grandson Feng Chanze. Feng Chanzai looked at the images as he cheered Grandfather, this is great. These rank 8 Gu Immortals are all trapped and unable to escape. We have made a huge contribution. We can definitely atone for our mistake and leave this cursed place. Grandfather, you can also become a true member of Heavenly Court. Old Man Bei Fong shook his head. He had a solemn gaze. Grandson, you are not clear of the true situation. These rank 8 Gu Immortals have not exhausted their means. Most of them are unharmed. They are unable to break the essence of this formation, so they chose to observe for now, waiting for reinforcements. Once they find any flaw, they would attack with unparalleled and shocking might. Feng Chan Zai was stunned and frightened. Then, then what do we do? Grandfather, didn't we seek reinforcements long ago? Why have Heavenly Court's reinforcements not arrived yet? Old Man Bei Feng was silent for a moment before he said, How can we know what Heavenly Court is planning? We can only guard this place to the best of our abilities now. After old man Bei Feng said that, the formation started to shake. What is going on? A rank 8 Gu immortal found out a flaw of the formation. Feng Chan Zai was shocked. No, it is that evil dragon. Old man Bei Feng's expression turned pale all of a sudden. Hidden Dragon Cave, it was renowned for sealing evil dragon Di Zhang Sheng. Right now, Di Zhang Sheng was struggling. It wanted to get up. Old Man Bei Feng could not help but resist bitterly. Di Zhang Sheng was not ordinary. It was created from endless hatred, anger, and grudges, all these negative emotions in Central Continent's earth veins. It was originally sealed and constantly struggled. If it succeeded, there would be a huge earthquake. Old Man Bei Feng was guarding it. One of the reasons was to stop the evil dragon from causing huge earthquakes in Central Continent. But now, Fang Yuan and the other region's Gu immortals rampaged in Central Continent, attacking countless life forms. A vast amount of grudges, hatred, and fear were generated. Di Zhang Sheng absorbed these emotions and gained a huge boost in strength. When the Eastern Sea Gu immortals attacked the formation, it was already alerted. The crafty Di Zhang Sheng held its patience and gathered strength. By causing a scene now, Old Man Bei Feng was caught off guard. Old Man Bei Feng quickly reacted and tried to use the formation's power to suppress Di Zhang Sheng. After that Old Man Duke Long used this formation, it weakened by 30%. Right now, my strength has secretly risen by at least 50%. Old Man Bei Feng, if you escape now, you might survive. Otherwise, when I destroy this formation, I will tear your corpse to pieces. Di Zhang Sheng roared. 
Its voice was thunderous and caused tremors in this huge earth trench. Don't even think about it. Old man Bei Feng had a grim expression, but his determination did not waver. I found a flaw. In a formation space, Eastern Sea rank 8 Gu Immortal King Yu and stared with opened eyes as his aura burst out like a volcano. Immortal Killer Move Mountain Suppression. Bam. A huge phantom mountain appeared out of nowhere. It struck towards the formation's loophole while creating loud sounds resembling wind and thunder. Hidden Dragon Cave's super immortal formation had already reached its limits facing Eastern Sea's Gu Immortals and the Zhang Sheng. Now that King Yuan attacked it, it was like a broken bowstring. Puff. The formation collapsed. Old man Bei Feng suffered a backlash and spat out mouthfuls of blood. His face turned pale as paper, and he was on the brink of death. Crack. Sounds of glass cracking could be heard. A huge portion of the immortal formation was destroyed. Only the control area was left. It was still pitifully defending the final bit of territory. Eastern Sea's immortals felt their vision shifting as they were all released. I can sense it. The rank 8 immortal Gu House is outside the immortal formation's core. Shen Kong Sheng's eyes shined with bright light. Charge, Song Kai Yuan laughed loudly as he moved. King Yu and stayed behind to heal himself. He had suffered injuries in trying to destroy the formation. He was not a formation path Gu immortal. He could not resolve it through formation path means. He had used brute force instead. Di Zhang Sheng roared in excitement. Its voice was loud as thunder. It made all the Eastern Sea immortals' expressions change. Quick, destroy the control area. I am about to regain freedom. Ha ha ha. Old man Duke Long, after I get out, I will tear apart your tendons and eat you piece by piece. Di Zhang Sheng's voice was filled with hatred and rage. It sent a chill down all of the immortals' spines. Grandfather, grandfather, you must hang on. In the tattered formation control area, Feng Chan's eye cried as he held onto old man Bei Feng. He shuddered as he screamed, Why have heavenly courts reinforcements not arrived yet? Old man Bei Feng was still spitting out blood. There was a pool of blood beneath him now. Both of them fell into a desperate situation. Central Continent, Emperor City. This huge city was made of goo worms. It was known as the number one mortal goo house in the world. At the same time, it was also the largest mortal gathering spot in the whole of Central Continent. The finals of Central Continent Refinement Path Convention would be held here. Fang Yuan was high in the sky, covered by layers of auspicious clouds. This was a luck path method meant to conceal his traces. Other than that, there were more than ten immortal methods used by Fang Yuan on himself. He could barely defend against the investigative power of people's accusation. He did not have human path methods after all. This effect was already satisfactory. Right now, his gaze was focused on Emperor City. Nobody else has acted yet? Longevity Heaven has yet to respond, damn it. Fang Yuan frowned deeply. He did not know that southern borders immortals were already attacking infallible blessed land with great morale. Meanwhile, in Hidden Dragon Cave, Eastern Sea's immortals had also broken the formation. Only the core was left. I cannot let Heavenly Court repair fate goo fully. I will destroy this emperor city and kill all of the goo masters that are in this final competition. Fang Yuan ordered, an immortal goo house crashed down like a meteor. The immortal goo house contained Hai Lu Lan, Bai Ning Bing, Ying Wu Zai, and Kai Clan's goo immortals. It could be said to contain almost all of Fang Yuan's subordinates now. Who dares to attack us? I will kill all of you. Lai Huang's voice resounded. He was the rank 8 expert tasked to guard this place. As he said that, immortal goo houses started to appear, revolving around Emperor City like planets moving around the sun. Fang Yuan sighed to himself, My immortal goo house was made using by Xiang Grotto Heaven's 33 heavenly halls, along with the place where the killer move heaven form was stored. I also added in some goo worms to barely assemble it. It is likely not the match of these immortal goo houses. 
Even so, Fang Yuan did not ask them to retreat. He had expected this situation, but there was no choice. Time was tight. He had to do something. Fang Yuan made up his mind. When Bai Ningbing and the rest are unable to continue, he would show up personally. As expected, Bai Ningbing and the rest were attacked by many immortal Gu houses. They were suppressed from the start of the battle. Heavenly Court placed a huge line of defense here. It was simply ridiculous. A moment later, the immortal Gu house that Bai Ningbing and the rest were in became extremely damaged. They were soon to be defeated. Fang Yuan sighed. He was about to enter the battle when his expression froze. He looked towards another direction. Several rank 8 Gu Immortals appeared. They were followed by several immortal Gu Houses. These are Western Desert's rank 8 Gu Immortals and the immortal Gu Houses of Super Forces. Fang Yuan's heart jumped. He showed joy on his face. Heavenly Court Western Desert and Southern Border's main forces have arrived. Fairy Zai Wai sighed. Actually, if not for the fusion of Earth veins, the regional walls would still be thick. Our heavenly court will definitely not face a coordinated attack of this degree. She was right. Precisely because the Great Era was impending, the five regions were becoming one as the regional walls vanished. These four other regions felt a strong sense of threat. Central Continent had the greatest strength. This was publicly recognized since ancient times. Right now, Heavenly Court wanted to repair Fate Immortal Goo. This was adding fuel to the fire. The other four regions' Goo Immortals had to stop them. The strongest group has not arrived yet. Duke Long said plainly. Yes. Fairy Zai Wai frowned. Only several people from Northern Plains have arrived. Their main force has not shown up at all. Fang Yuan is also not present. Considering the battle in the River of Time earlier, he might likely join forces with Bing Sai Chuan again. Saying so, Fairy Zai Wai gritted her teeth, let me deduce with all of my strength again. Duke Long was about to nod when his expression suddenly changed. He looked afar, no need, they have arrived. At the next moment, Fairy Zai Wai looked with deep anger as a rainbow fog appeared in the sky of Heavenly Court. Rank 8 Immortal Goo House Calamity Luck Altar burst out of it. These Northern Plains brutes, they, they are too daring. How dare they attack my heavenly court directly? Fairy Zai Wai was so angry her body was shaking. Old man Zhang Yuan who was at the side became speechless. Duke Long laughed loudly, standing up. Indeed, this is the character of Northern Plainsmen. Chapter 1708, Emperor City Battlefield. Central Continent, Emperor City. This is the immortal Gu House that Master told me about. Yi Fan had made it to the finals competition. He looked at the sky with deep shock. The other participating Gu Masters were mostly the same. These immortal Gu Houses are usually the foundation of a super force. To think that so many would appear. I'm afraid that even after the regional walls vanish and the earth veins become one, during the five regions' chaotic war, there would not be such a battle. Yi Fan had a realization. At this time, a voice sounded beside Yi Fan. Brother Yi, we can finally compete this time and determine the winner. Yi Fan diverted his gaze as he smiled and thought, Master ordered me to join this Central Continent Refinement Path Convention, to think that I would meet such a talented person. Even if I lose in the competition later, it would be a great experience. This sworn brother is my greatest gain. Friends are often made after a fight. Hong Yi and Yi Fan had emerged victorious in the previous few rounds. They naturally became acquainted. After some conversations, both developed a bond with each other. After a drinking competition, they decided to become sworn brothers. Hong Yi continued. This refinement path convention is unprecedented. Let those Gu immortals fight in the sky. We have our own business to attend to. Thank you for the concern, Brother Yi. I understand. Yi Fan knew about Hong Yi's kind intentions. He expressed his gratitude before concentrating on the final competition. Outside Emperor City, Central Continent had many immortal Gu houses of varying ranks. They were distributed around Emperor City. 
surrounding it and forming a three-layered defense line. Outside the defense lines, there were many Western Desert Rank 8 experts and immortal goo houses. Other than that was the one controlled by Bai Ning Bing and the rest, Fang Yuan had not even named this immortal goo house that he assembled in a rush. Fang Yuan originally wanted to show up, but after Western Desert's goo immortals appeared, he decided to stay hidden again. Western Desert's Goo Immortals flew down along the Immortal Goo Houses, they continued to shorten their distance, causing huge pressure to form on Central Continent's side. Even Lai Huang who was commanding the situation felt a little pressured. Even he who had great battle experience had not participated in a battle of such a huge scale. Lai Huang had participated in many chaotic battles involving Goo Immortals, but he had never seen so many immortal goo houses in one fight. Immortal goo houses were much rarer than goo immortals, normally speaking. Very few goo immortals had their individual immortal goo houses, only super forces had them. A goo immortal alone could not gather enough wealth, ability, and time to create an immortal goo house, and an immortal goo house was not the most feasible for a single person's use. For super forces, they needed a rank 7 immortal goo house. In crucial situations, it could act as their rank 8 battle strength. Rank 8 goo immortals were not common. The first supreme elder of many forces were only rank 7. At this time, a rank 7 immortal goo house could help to stabilize the situation. Immortal goo houses had their flaws, of course. The methods were fixed and easily countered. Thus, even though most rank 7 immortal goo houses could rival rank 8, they could not truly fight against a rank 8 goo immortal. Right now, the immortal goo houses here were at least rank 7. They all had rank 8 battle strength. From a certain perspective, this was a battle that involved more than 10 rank 8 battle strength existences. Both sides felt nervous and pressured. But this was an unavoidable battle. The atmosphere became heavier when the distance between both sides shrunk to a certain degree. An immortal goo house that was in Central Continent's second layer defense line attacked. This immortal goo house was small and delicate. It was an exquisite and small pavilion. There were countless bird cages hanging on it as birds chirped continuously. It was one of Heavenly Lotus Sect's five immortal goo houses canary pavilion. A large number of cages were unlocked in Canary Pavilion. Flaming birds flew out rapidly, shooting out like a rain of flames. These birds expanded midway and regained their original size. They were large as horse carriages. Their bodies were red and their feathers were flaming with great heat. Their eyes resembled molten magma. Their chirping was quite unique. It sounded like flowing lava. Ancient desolate beast molten flame bird be careful, these birds can self-detonate, they have great power. Among the Western Desert group, a goo immortal immediately warned. Fire path ancient desolate beast, ha ha ha, let us face them. Amidst the laughter, an immortal goo house that resembled a water wheel rolled out itself using those gigantic wheels. A huge red light shot out of the wheel, it seemed to resemble ribbons that tangled the bird group. The molten flame birds shrieked and tried to struggle, but most were suppressed by the red light. A few self-detonated, turning into lava that were absorbed by the red light to become even stronger. What immortal goo house is this? Central Continent side was shocked, to think that the molten flame birds were so easily countered. Western Desert side was also shocked. A few rank 8 goo immortals paid slight attention to this weirdly shaped immortal goo house. They had no information regarding it. Oh, Dong Clan's Red River Wheel. Fang Yuan's eye shined. This immortal goo house was obtained by Dong Clan from a mysterious inheritance. In Fang Yuan's previous life, it had displayed its great power and gained huge fame. Normally speaking, if a super force wanted to research and create an immortal goo house, the process would take a long time. And in this process, a lot of clues would be obtained by other forces. Only immortal goo houses that were suddenly obtained like this would shock people. Dong Clan's goo immortals felt a little proud. 
they had made a great gain obtaining these molten flame birds. With them, Dong Clan's Red River Wheel would become even stronger, especially in terms of speed. Tit for tat. Fang Clan's Gu Immortal shouted in the Immortal Gu House, releasing a large number of ancient desolate beasts. Most were dogs and chickens. Fang Yuan was even clearer regarding this Immortal Gu House. It was Fang Clan's Chicken Dog Coop. It looked like two buildings side by side. The left building was yellow and had a round plaque that had chicken written on it. The right building was red and had the word dog on its plaque. Every immortal goo house was comprehensive in all aspects but also contained its own specialty. Chicken Dog Coop and Canary Pavilion were both focused on enslavement path. The former enslaved chicken and dogs while the latter raised canaries. Both were also the same at rank 7. The advantage of enslavement path was to engage in a battle of attrition. A large group of chickens and dogs charged out as Central Continent's outer layer of defense reacted. Using all sorts of killer moves on these chickens and dogs, a large number died. But Western Desert's group also followed after and attacked. At once, immortal goo houses unleashed thunderous sounds and collided into each other. Killer moves were unleashed as space was torn. Loud sounds caused continuous tremors in this area. Western Desert's advancement was very ferocious. Soon, Central Continent's first layer of defense was broken. The second layer was also almost broken, but it barely held on. Western Desert's side has less manpower and immortal goo houses than Central Continent after all. Western Desert was different from Southern Border, Northern Plains, and Eastern Sea. Southern Border had the Southern Alliance, the super forces were working very closely now. Right now, the whole of Southern Border had beacon towers everywhere, this was proof of their cooperation. Northern Plains had Longevity Heaven leading them. In the recent years, Longevity Heaven had been recruiting lone immortals and demonic path members. They were trying to unify the entire Goo Immortal world of Northern Plains. Eastern Sea's rank 8 Goo Immortals had almost lost all their face because of Duke Long's actions of taking the Immortal Goo House. Because Duke Long offended all of these people which were all arrogant overlords of their own territory, this event caused them to band together instead. Over at Western Desert, even though they knew that the issue of Heavenly Court repairing Fate Goo was severe, only super forces participated in this. Fang Yuan did not see any Western Desert lone immortals or daimonic path members. And Western Desert's super forces have reserved a lot of strength in this battle too. Fang Clan is the one that has brought the most force. They brought Chicken Dog Coop, Inquiry Dock, and Fallen Flower Hall. I wonder if Divine Bean Palace has been repaired. Did they bring it? Fang Yuan pondered rapidly. Divine Bean Palace was a rank 8 immortal goo house. If they brought it, this would be interesting. But Fang Clan knew that the chances were slim. Even if Fang Clan had control of Divine Bean Palace now, there was a good chance that they would leave it in their base. In this refinement path convention, even though Western Desert and Eastern Sea mobilized their forces, they were quite conservative, they were wary of each other. You go this way. Fang Yuan watched from above as he commanded Bai Ning Bing and the rest. Bai Ning Bing and the rest moved the immortal Gu House according to Fang Yuan's instructions and passed the second layer of defense, going straight for Emperor City under everyone's shocked gazes but Emperor City was protected by Central Continent's third layer of defense. Two immortal goo houses charged toward Bai Ning Bing and the rest from the left and right. The palace at the left was grand and imposing. It was Heavenly Lotus Sex Immortal Goo House Yu Yang Palace. The right garden was exquisitely built. It was grand with white jade tiles and oozing with cold air. There were faint dragon roars heard occasionally, this was ancient soul sex immortal goo house frost dragon manor. Binding Bing and the rest used the immortal goo house's killer move. The move was not powerful. It was destroyed by Yu Yang Palace and Frost Dragon Manor. They arrived in front of Binding Bing and the rest. 
Bai Ning Bing and the rest knew that their immortal Gu House was inferior. They could only retreat. You can't retreat. A Western Desert rank 8 Gu Immortal shouted, if they retreated, this gap that was painstakingly created would be mended, their chance would be lost. Retreat, Fang Yuan's orders were very direct. This immortal Gu House was not Frost Dragon Manor and Yu Yang Palace's match, Fang Yuan needed to preserve them. If it was destroyed now at the start, it would be a huge waste. However, it was not so easy to retreat. At the crucial moment, intense winds restrained Bai Ning Bing and the rest. It was a seven-story tower. Curtains were fluttering in the building. It was Rank 7 Immortal Gu House Wind Sweeping Building. This was one of the two signature Immortal Gu Houses of Wind Cloud Manor. It was paired with Cloud Passing Building. Wind Sweeping Building and Cloud Passing Building were able to combine into Rank 8 Immortal Gu House Wind Cloud Manor. It had extraordinary power. In the 500 years of Fang Yuan's previous life, Wind Cloud Manor was once ranked as the number one immortal Gu House for some time. With Wind Sweeping Building restraining them, Yu Yang Palace moved rapidly like a meteor, crashing into Fang Yuan's immortal Gu House. Next, Frost Dragon Manor's killer move also landed. Instantly, a portion of Fang Yuan's immortal Gu House broke. Pillars broke and a huge gap was created. A vast number of mortal Gu was destroyed. He also lost several immortal Gu. Fang Yuan snorted as he showed up. Emperor Yama killer move. With the use of Great Thief Ghost Hand, he directly took a bunch of Gu worms and three immortal Gu. Chapter 1709, Wu Yang vs. Chen Yi. Boom. With a loud sound, huge changes occurred. Wu Yang led the group of Southern Alliance Immortals as he broke the fifth layer of the formation, arriving at the sixth. In the sixth formation, there was complete darkness. There were no boundaries as far as one could see. The Southern Border Immortals were as small as ants in comparison to this huge space. This is a space path formation. A Luo clan Gu Immortal suddenly spoke. He wore a traditional Southern Border clothing. His skin tone was white, and he had a cold expression. He was a Luo clan general famous in southern border, having peak rank 7 battle strength. His name was Luo Ran, he cultivated space path and had incredible attainment. Indeed, this is a space path formation. Kaik you nodded in agreement, let me make some deductions. The immortals held no disagreements. After entering a formation, using brute force was not wise. The best way was to let formation path Gu Immortals deduce the profundities of this formation, to target its weaknesses and achieve a greater result in doing so, saving effort in the process. After some deductions, Kaik Yu said plainly, I've already deduced most of this formation. It is likely the spaceless formation. Luo Ran listened and frowned. Even though I do not cultivate formation path, I've heard of spaceless formation. It is one of the most classic immortal formations of space path. It was created during the remote antiquity era. Nobody knows who the creator was. This formation only has one ability. It can extend space and increase distance. After entering the formation, the distance of one step can be turned into a hundred steps. Kai Q laughed. Friend Luo Ran is wise, that is correct. But this formation had already been modified. There is a variation hidden inside it. Someone asked, what variation? Kai Kyu shook his head, I have not deduced it yet, I can only sense it. But we can set off first, I can deduce along the way. In this situation, we can move ahead without concern. The spaceless formation does not have offensive power. It can only trap enemies and increase the distance between enemy and ally, to stall for time. Give me some time, I will be able to deduce the variation formation and find its weakness. During this period, if heavenly court attacks, as long as we can defend ourselves, whatever changes we observe will help me in my deductions. Kai Q's suggestion was good, the immortals quickly set off and chose to move forward together. Spaceless formation had no light. It was completely dark and endless. 
The Southern Alliance Immortals protected Kai Q, who was at the center of the group, while Wu Yang remained as the vanguard. Look, there's something in front. Yao Clan's Gu Immortal Yao Tianzi suddenly spoke. The Immortals quickly slowed down and got closer, taking a clearer look. There was a huge green and white radish, it was large like a house, floating in the air as it remained motionless. What is this? It seems to be an immemorial desolate plant, Yao Tianzi asked. Everyone frowned, this was not a common sight after all. Wu Yang was silent, a flash of inspiration appeared in his mind. He seemed to have heard of that immortal plant, but he could not recall it in a short time. If I am not wrong, this should be the great profound ice light radish. It is an extinct immortal plant from the immemorial antiquity era. To think that heavenly court still kept it till now. Kaio Shai Kai said. He was the first supreme elder of Kaio clan, even though he had rank 7 cultivation level, he cultivated wood path. Wu Yang's eyes shined. That's right, this is the great profound ice light radish. Everyone be careful, if anyone gets close, this radish will burst out with countless ice lights. It will pierce every muscle and skin in your body. You will instantly freeze to death. Kaio Jai Kai added to the explanation. That's right, do not underestimate the ice lights. These ice lights are the Tao marks of the Great Profound Ice Light Radish. After it shoots out, the Great Profound Ice Light Radish will no longer have any Tao marks. It will become a mortal material. Thus, the Ice Light Storm will have the power of a Rank 8 Gu Immortal's Immortal Killer move. The Immortals heard this and stepped back. They became very alert. However, a change occurred right at this moment. Ripples appeared in the air. The formation suddenly activated as a huge space path force erupted on a southern border Gu Immortal. The southern border Gu Immortal had already activated his defenses long ago. But the space path force did not attack him. Instead, it teleported him away. The location was none other than beside the Great Profound Ice Light Radish. The Great Profound Ice Light Radish was like a frightened little girl. It quickly shrunk until it was one-third of its original size. Afterwards, boom, countless ice needles shot out in all directions. The southern border Gu Immortal had already activated his strongest defensive method, but in just half a breath of time, he was pierced thoroughly. Next, he became frozen, becoming an ice statue. The southern border immortals were all deeply shocked. The spaceless formation suddenly activated and teleported the Gu Immortal away. It was clearly the variation that Kai Q had spoke of earlier. Together with the great profound ice light radish, it was a perfect combination. Wu Yang's expression turned ashen. He led the Southern Alliance Immortals in this battle. At this moment, they had finally lost their first member. Wu Yang was quite anxious to find a way to deal with the situation. At this moment, a change occurred again. Ripples appeared in space again as a formless space path force erupted, trying to teleport another Southern Alliance Gu Immortal. With me around, don't even think about it. At the crucial moment, Luo Ran shouted, activating an immortal Gu. The power of the immortal Gu spread out as the surrounding space instantly froze like ice. Southern Alliance's immortals felt a strong restrictive force, as if they were sealed in an ice coffin. Rank 7 Immortal Goo suppressed space. A Rank 7 Immortal Goo could not deal with this heavenly court formation, but it was not without effect. Suppressed space Immortal Goo helped the Southern Alliance Goo Immortal to gain a few crucial seconds to escape. The formation's spatial ripples were like a beast's mouth that failed to devour its target. It could only vanish in vain. Luo Ran dispelled the effect of suppressed space immortal Gu. Southern Alliance's Gu Immortals felt the pressure lifting as they regained their freedom. The situation was urgent. I had to activate suppressed space immortal Gu. It had a wide range that cannot be controlled. My apologies for implicating everyone. Luo Ran quickly apologized. Wu Yang laughed loudly. Well done. This is suppressed space immortal Gu? It is a good goo worm that counters this formation. Kaikyu nodded.
feeling glad. Luo Ran smiled. I obtained this goo from an earth trench recently, to think that it would work here. This shows that somehow, heaven's will truly exists. Everything in this world had its weaknesses and counters. There was no strongest goo worm, only strongest goo immortal. Heavenly Court created this spaceless teleportation formation. It was made of several rank seven immortal goo and a vast number of mortal goo. But it was countered by one suppressed space immortal goo. With suppressed space immortal goo, Southern Alliance's immortals no longer had any concerns when moving in this formation space. And because Heavenly Court's teleportation formation was activated, Kai Q's deductions became faster. A moment later, Kai Q pointed out a loophole of the formation. He said to Wu Yang, Heavenly Court's spaceless formation is too troublesome to break from the inside. Lord Alliance leader, why don't you use this loophole to link with the unlimited wind outside and break the formation there? It should be easier. Wu Yang used the loophole and easily detected the unlimited wind outside. Immediately, wild winds blew and broke the formation through the loophole. The Southern Alliance Gu Immortals returned to the outside world. After breaking six formations and only losing one member, the Southern Alliance Immortals had surging morale. This battle result made the formation's controller feel extremely heavy-hearted. This person was dressed in a green robe, emitting an aura of a scholar. From his appearance, he looked young, but his eyes were deep and wise. He was already some thousands of years old. It was none other than the Woodpath Rank 8 Great Expert, Heavenly Lotus Sect's previous first Supreme Elder, the current generation Genesis Lotus Inheritor Chen Yi. To think that the enemies are so ferocious, there are only three formations left. Chen Yi pondered for a while and said to the person beside him, Why don't we work together and fight them? We can gain some time for the formation to be set up. The female immortal beside him, Bai Kang Shui, was a heavenly court member. She had participated in the previous refinement path convention to restore fate. She did not hesitate, agreeing immediately. The two walked out of the formation. Wu Yang and the rest were still attacking the seventh layer of the formation. They tried to break it directly. Chen Yi cupped his fists at the southern border immortals. Southern border friends, I am heavenly courts Chen Yi. Does anyone dare to fight me alone? Wu Yang's pupils shrunk. He waved his hand as clear jade dripping when tiny bamboo building was taken out. In a fight between rank 8s, rank 7 Gu immortals could not interfere. But if they went inside an immortal Gu house, they would be able to join the battle, barely. Ba clan's first supreme elder Ba Shiba laughed loudly. Old man Chen Ye, it was not wise for you to come out of that tortoise shell. Let me face you. Wait, don't let him stall for time. We will attack together, Wu Yang snickered and ordered. If Wu Du Ziyu was here, she would definitely accept Chen Yi's challenge and fight him alone. But Wu Yang was a different type of person. Why would he give up on a chance to attack him as a group? Immediately, Wu Yang moved forward with multiple rank eights from southern border behind him, along with clear jade dripping wind tiny bamboo building carrying rank seven Gu immortals, they charged ahead. Chen Yi and Bai Kang Shui were attacked by the group, but they did not fluster. Bai Kang Shui pushed with her hands as huge white waves appeared and moved forward. Wu Yang's body flickered as his afterimage remained. His true body had vanished on the spot. Ba Shi Ba faced the huge waves as he shouted. His aura surged as a profound light shined on the waves. Next, the wings on Yi Hao Fang's back waved. Countless arrows shot out. The arrow rain pierced the waves, approaching Bai Kang Shui and Chen Yi. Come, Chen Yi smiled. He did not make any movements, but the phantom images of huge trees appeared around him. Yi Hao Fang's arrow rain pierced into the forest. It only caused some shaking in the trees. A large number of leaves fell. Chen Yi's aura grew stronger. He was about to retaliate when his expression suddenly changed. Wu Yang appeared right behind him unknowingly. He has such concealment methods? 
the concealed person that I detected was actually an illusion that he made. Chen Yi was deeply shocked by Wu Yang's methods. At the moment of crisis, he did not even have time to turn around. Next, he felt that Wu Yang had lightly patted his shoulder. We became friends at first sight, yet you have to go now. This is farewell my good friend, let me send you off. Wu Yang smiled lightly. Hearing this, even with Chen Yi's thousands of years of life and abundant experiences, his expression became pale. He shouted in his heart. This is immortal killer move farewell friend wind. My heavenly court had not been able to find it even after extensive search, to think that it was in Wu Yang's hands. Next, Chen Yi lost control over his body, he slowly floated towards the front. While floating, his hair, clothes, and limbs started to disintegrate. Save me, Chen Yi shouted in his heart, but he could not make any noise. He could not move at all, none of his methods could be used. Even Karma Divine Tree Killer Move was unable to be activated. Chapter 1710 Limitless Left Path Heavenly Court The originally white sky became covered in seven colored rainbow lights. A huge immortal goo house was floating in the sky. It was truly an incredible immortal goo house. It had three floors of altars, grand and magnificent. There were multiple pillars holding each floor up, having white jade railings and shining aurora. It was the rank 8 luck path immortal goo house calamity luck altar. In the past, giant sun immortal venerable had personally constructed it. It was one of his three immortal goo houses that he used. Originally, Calamity Luck Altar was left as Longevity Heaven's foundation, but this time to attack Heavenly Court, they actually brought it along. Such an act showed Longevity Heaven's confidence. Many of Heavenly Court's goo immortals felt very worried. Fairy Zai Wai frowned deeply. Even Duke Long had a solemn gaze in his eyes. However, his attention was not on Calamity Luck Altar, but the rainbow lights in the sky instead. Duke Long said in a low tone, Calamity Luck Altar and the Longevity Heaven Goo Immortals alone cannot break in here easily. This seven-colored rainbow light is of rank nine level. It must be the work of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable? Fairy Zai Wai was dazed before realization shined on her face. According to Heavenly Court's records, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable was once invited to tour Heavenly Court. Did he create this back door secretly at that time? That should be the case, Duke Long said. Fairy Zai Wai's expression turned grim. This Giant Sun Immortal Venerable is truly crafty. He had already planned to invade Heavenly Court so long ago. His scheme was so deep. All past venerables have great wisdom, they cannot be underestimated. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable possessed luck path methods, he secretly set this arrangement, and we could not discover it until it was used now. Duke Long sighed as he shook his head, having a complex feeling. Back then, when Giant Sun became venerable, he did it through luck path, it was a huge obstruction to Fate Goo. Back then, Heavenly Court's leader, Golden Hooped Great Immortal, made a plan and specially invited Giant Sun Immortal Venerable to tour Heavenly Court, telling the world that they were inviting Giant Sun to join Heavenly Court openly. After considering it, Giant Sun agreed to the invitation and went on to look around Heavenly Court. Golden Hooped Great Immortal personally led Giant Sun Immortal Venerable as they went to look at the important places in Heavenly Court especially the places that Limitless, Reckless Savage, and Red Lotus stopped at when they attacked. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable made a suggestion. He wanted to see Fate Immortal Goo. Golden Hooped Great Immortal did not reject him. They went up Heaven Overseeing Tower and saw Fate Goo. After Giant Sun left the tower, he remained silent along the way. After leaving Heavenly Court, he said that he had to reconsider the matter of joining them. This experience and the conversation between Giant Sun and Golden Hooped was clearly recorded in Heavenly Court's history with great precision. The power of Rank 9 is truly unfathomable. We only saw Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's arrangements today, 
That is not strange at all. After all, he cultivated luck path, and we have little understanding of this path. However, even spectral soul demon venerable who managed to plant spies in heavenly court is in our captivity now. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable has died long ago. Only his Calamity Luck Altar and a bunch of Northern Plains Goo Immortals are here to attack us now. How can my heavenly court fall so easily? The hall resounded with old man Zhang Yuan's voice. Fairy Zai Wai nodded, but she still frowned. Calamity Luck Altar is not an ordinary rank 8 Immortal Goo House. It was once owned by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. It is a pity that Prince Feng Zion did not join this invasion. Otherwise we would have gotten information about Longevity Heaven's sneak attack in advance. But most importantly, how much force is hidden in Calamity Luck Altar? Hmm, wait, I think there isn't a lot. Because we did not get any news of this invasion by Northern Plains Longevity Heaven. They were able to keep it hidden so well. They must have kept it to a very small number of people. Fairy Zai Y analyzed rapidly. You are not wrong, that is likely so. Duke Long nodded, even though he stood up from his seat, his arms were still behind his back. He did not join the battle, as if he was waiting for something. At the next moment, the whole of heavenly court shook. Swoosh, like the howling of the wind, this sound was etched deep into everyone's hearts. Duke Long, Fairy Zai Wai, and old man Zhang Yuan felt no surprise, they showed faint smiles on their faces. The killer move that Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable left behind has activated. Within Calamity Luck Altar, Longevity Heaven's Goo Immortals felt no surprise either. The information that Giant Sun Immortal Venerable left behind already described this. In fact, even without Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's information, Longevity Heaven had a number of true inheritances of the few demon venerables. Be it reckless savage or limitless, they were northern plainsmen, the intel of their attack on Heavenly Court was in Longevity Heaven's hands. This is the killer move Kai Wall. Kai Wall killer move is very ordinary, but when Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable was at a young age, he was very skilled at it and enjoyed using it. When Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable became invincible in the world, this Kai Wall Killer move was also elevated to rank 9. Longevity Heaven's Goo Immortals discussed as they manipulated Calamity Luck Altar, attacking the surroundings. The surrounding air started to produce ripples like a formless fortress, only after facing a lot of attacks did it burst back into normal air but soon it gathered again into a formless fortress wall. The whole of Heavenly Court was reinforced by this air, resisting the invasion of Longevity Heaven. But for Heavenly Court's members, when they moved, the Kai Wall around them would return to normal air, they would not be obstructed. Longevity Heaven's Goo Immortals made some attempts as they expressed shock on their faces. Indeed worthy of Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable. The ordinary Kai Wall Killer move has the power of rank 9 in Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable's hands, it is even stronger than the Heavenly Wind Kai Wall. What do we do now? Five Elements Grandmaster had an ugly expression, he was very worried. He had just joined Longevity Heaven recently, he had only learned of the invasion several days ago. Five Elements Grandmaster's worry was very reasonable, if they could not get past this move, they would need to destroy all the Kai walls along their path. The expenditure would be too high, they might not even make it to Duke Long before their immortal essence dried up. They would be extremely tired. But it was too difficult to unravel this move. Firstly, it was a rank 9 killer move, only methods of similar level would be effective. Unless they possessed an extremely effective rank 8 killer move, it would not be useful. Secondly, after the changes of eras, Kai Path had already fallen out of common use. Almost nobody from Longevity Heaven in this trip cultivated Kai Path. What could they do? Don't worry, we have our method. Even though this move is made by Primordial Origin Immortal Venerable, so many years have passed, eras have changed. After the invasions of three demon venerables, 
It already possessed flaws. That's right, back then, limitless, reckless savage and Red Lotus could not unravel this Kai Wall Killer move even though they attacked Heavenly Court. They merely used their incredible strength to break through by force. They carved out three roads on their own. These three paths are the places where the Kai Wall is at its weakest and cannot regenerate. As long as we destroy a small area, we will be able to enter one of these three paths and follow the Demon Venerable's road to fight our way in. Five Elements Grandmaster let out a sigh of relief, so that's it. Next, he asked, which path do we choose? At the same time. In the central Great Hall, Duke Long and Fairy Zai Wai conversed, even though Kai Wall is powerful, it had been exposed long ago. Since Longevity Heaven is attacking now, they must be aware of its weaknesses. They will use the paths that the Demon Venerables created. Fairy Zai Wai nodded, recalling, The left path was created by Limitless Demon Venerable. It passes Central Heaven Gate, Mame Plaque Palace, Sun Palace, Five Deity Hall, Central Great Hall, Heaven Overseeing Tower, Forgotten Dao Lake, and finally, it stops at the Imperfection Regret Pavilion on the peak of Star Zone Mountain. The central path was created by Reckless Savage Demon Venerable. It passes Immortal Emperor Court, Hidden Space Pavilion, Sumeru Lake, Eternal Sand Cave, Million Heavenly King Gallery, Embroidered Tower, Central Great Hall, and ends at Heaven Overseeing Tower. The right path was made by Red Lotus Demon Venerable. He first went past Lotus Fairy Pond and Bright Moon Treasure Light Hall, followed by Twelve Spiritual Pass, Separation Flame Pavilion, Magnetic Star Hill, Waterwood Clarity Court, Central Great Hall, and ends at Heaven Overseeing Tower. As long as they make their choice, we will be able to know their route and set up our defenses. Fairy Zai Wise eyes flickered with the sparkles of wisdom. That is right. Duke Long had no objections. Boom, boom, boom. Calamity Luck Altar brought the few longevity Heaven Goo Immortals as they attacked the weak spot of the Kai Wall and went in. Once they entered, Longevity Heaven's group felt that the pressure was greatly lifted. The Kai Wall was barely existing here. Heavenly Court's Goo Immortals also saw what happened. Fairy Zai Wai and Duke Long looked at each other. They chose the left path. 